Welcome back to Let's Play Saga 2 Hiho Densetsu. This is Big Los, and we find ourselves in Apollo's world, the one with Lin. And if you notice, we changed Glenn into this Tengu by eating the meat of the Triceratops and the Watcher, and I got those in the race world. And these are all the abilities that Glenn has as a Crow Tengu. It's of the Birdman family. Now, the reason I did it like this is so that we would have special variants, so... I had a special variant apparition, and then I had this special variant Crow Tengu, and now we're here in Apollo's world because we want to fight the each Oisage, I think that's how you pronounce it, get the meat. And we didn't get it at that time. And then we will change into a variant nymph. Up from a variant fairy, which we were before. And it might take a little bit going around, trying to find the right monster. It's of the jaguar type body. So they're pretty easy to spot. And it's always a singular horse. One of those blue horses. There we go. No, I'm going to edit out the battles until we get to the one that we want that actually drops the meat. Let's see, any around here? Oh, there's one. Nope, still didn't get it. Oh, that was one of those griffins. Okay, will we get to meet this time? I hope so. One hit wonder. Ah, oh, finally. Alright, let's eat it. We'll change Glenn into a nymph variant this time. The nymph variant having higher stats and higher versions of its abilities like break instead of sleep and heal instead of cure and the nymph also has a couple of extra spells the whirling tide and treatment which heals status ailments and of course like all the monsters of the fairy family they have circle earthquake meaning they're strong against earthquake because they got fairy wings and they're flying above the ground, so if the earth shakes, it doesn't affect them. Oh! Okay. Now let's just go up into this inn right here. We'll recharge our abilities. And then we'll go to the free warehouse, man. And I actually got a couple of these things. These crystals. The diamond, spade, heart, and clover crystals from the dragon race. If you run the dragon race again after you get the relics. Then they have time trials for each dragon. And if you get to the goal under a certain amount of time. And it's different for each dragon. Then you get those crystals. And... I think you could sell them for a lot of gold. But, I'm just going to keep them for right now because I got plenty of gold right now. And then after you win those crystals, if you win again, then you get elixirs. So I got a couple of elixirs from that race as well. Okay, so we went back to the Edo world and now we went into the Sky Pillar and now we're going to the next world to see what it holds. I already know what it is, and most of you who played the original probably know what it is too. But I'll just mention it when we get there. Yep, we are at the outskirts of the Nasty Dungeon. I'm sure you all who've played the original know what the Nasty Dungeon is? Oh. 
Oh man, I should have just came here and ate the meat of these. The nightmares? It's in the same family as the each oysage. Oh man. Okay, we got this thing called a petrify counter for Shala while we were doing a little bit of grinding, trying to get the meats that we wanted. That means she won't do anything, but if she's attacked, she will turn whoever attacked her into stone. And these guys know how to do fire. But it doesn't matter because we have the Aegea Shield. And we used up the Ninto, so I put the Bastard Sword back in there so he could get more experience with a Great Sword. Hopefully. And we used up the Psycho Sword, so I gave the rest of Robo's lightsaber to Shala. Maybe it'll help increase our agility, who knows. Yeah, I could have came here and tried to get the meat. Well, that was stupid. Alright, let's just make our way over to the Nasty Dungeon. Instead of mountains bordering the path, now it's like a cliff with a drop-off to Oblivion. Kind of cool looking, actually. Reminiscent of the Kingdom of Zeal back in the game Chrono Trigger. Alright, let's switch out our map ability to excavate. And we'll see what's in this chest over here. Yoshiyuki! Oh, if it's Japanese, it's gotta be cool. What is this? Oh, it's another katana, but it's strength times 13. Okay, so after we use up the... Bastard Sword, I guess we'll put that in the Chrono's... Equipment Pack, and then he'll start using that. But first he has to use up a Flame Sword. And that Spear. That means we gotta... Do a lot of actions in battle. Oh, here we go. There's a fairy here. It's super nasty. Okay, so the only relic in this world is in this treasure chest, so we can get it. And we got the clay doll, which gives the map ability discipline. Let's see what that does. Let's see, all ally pat party stati status is lowered, but enemies drop items more often. That doesn't sound very useful to me, but I might use that if I'm going to fight like the Hanawa or something. Try to get the Seventh Sword. Okay, now, th as you may have noticed, the Nasty Dungeon is just not the same if the battles are not random. That means you could just slip by almost all these enemies. Okay, so we got a new enemy here, the Cat Girl. She's in the same family as the Were Rat and the Werewolf. Oh, here's Miss Leo. Everyone's ability went up. Well, thank you. Oh, yeah. That did even more damage than it usually would. Alright. No, we don't want to eat it. We can't really change into anything better for right now. Let's try to... Oh, wha well, that was another nightmare. Literally. Let's use some of these high potions to heal ourselves up. Now we have another slot for items because one thing about this dungeon, you do get a lot of items. So make sure that you have a lot of space for it. Oh. Alright. 
Now, both of those passages lead to the same area, so it doesn't matter which one you pick, because they both connect. See, oh, this is unavoidable. Oh, crap. Okay, here's a chain battle. I don't think we've seen the demon or the dragon kid before. I know we've seen the the adamant turtle before in the dragon race. So let's see. Let's do this petrify counter, and then we'll do a thunder, I guess, on the adamant shell. Nice. Oh, that didn't do very much. Nope. See, that is why the Petrified counter is pretty good. Okay. Trying to charge up that flying knee kick. Oh man. And I thought you improved your great sword handling ability. Let's see. I guess we'll just use that up until it gets to pretty low. Cool. Nope, she's immune to that. You guys, all right, and I guess we'll have Glenn do nothing because we'll have a chance for a stat boost. Nope, none of your spells are going to work against us, but none of my regular sword attacks are going to work either. All right, got an increase in strength. And then the nightmare dropped me again. Man, I knew I should have came here. Okay, so we got a couple of treasure chests over to the right, so let's just head on over there. We'll get around this guy. Alright. No, we won't be able to get around him. There's tons of nightmares in this place. Oh, here's another one. Oh, body source. And a strength source. So we'll give the body source to Shala because she has a lower max HP than Chrono right now. And we'll give the strength source to Chrono. Who increases his strength by three points. Let's see, but we don't have any real weapons that we can give to Shala right now. We're just going to have to find them. She's going to have to make do with the abilities that she has. Okay, let's try to make our way back. Can we get around this guy again? Alright. Now let's... Go up here, and this makes a little circuitous route, but at the end of it is a treasure chest. And we'll try to dodge as many enemies as we can. I know what you're thinking, oh it's just not the same if the battles aren't random. The dungeon isn't as nasty as it was in the original. Except with these guys. Alright, and we can get around this guy. And we'll get this. Ooh, dragon armor. Let's see, what happens if we try to replace the dragon shield with it? Robo's defense lowers, so it's not worth equipping him with it. How about the giant armor. What happens if we replace the giant armor with dragon armor? 
defense goes up by one, but we have a ten point drop in strength. I don't think that's a good trade off. Same thing with Shala, even though she doesn't really use strength at all. I still don't think the extra point in defense is worth sacrificing 10 points in strength. At least not at this juncture. Maybe if Chrono's strength gets high enough, like in the high 90s, then we might want to de-equip the giant armor so he could build up his strength more. And it won't be because he has performance enhancing armor is why his strength would be so high. Let's just get around all these guys and we'll exit. And then we'll go this way. Okay, so I think that goes down to a lower level up there. But if you keep going, there's a treasure chest at the end. So let's try to get it. Up oh, can we up no Another Catwoman. Fairly easy to take care of. And now we got the Ogre Killer. Let's check this thing out. Okay. The Ogre Killer is a sword, it's a great sword, a powerful sword capable of defeating gigantic ogres with a single blow. Yeah, we might equip that later, but we kind of got a lot of weapons for Chrono as it is. I might actually consider giving that to Shala. Will we be able to get to the lower levels? Find out next time. This is Big Lowe signing off. See you next time, and tengo un buen día.